Hey, Alex Navarro. Hey, Vinny Caravella. Here we are back in the wonderful Giant Bummy studio. Uh, we are just about to take uh, uh, ownership of some sound baffling. So in the near future, this could be one of our last echoey, reverby quick looks. It's a real shame, because I've really been enjoying hearing my voice reverberate <laughs> off literally everything in this room. Every, the pool table, Yeah, my having head. to speak at this, this very measured tone so that I don't start shouting and getting the, the yeah. ring everywhere. Sometimes I feel bad, because I wish if I had, I think if I had more hair, it would help the situation, it would just dampen some of the audio and collect it. So personal failing on my See, part. I've been blaming you all along for this, but yeah. I didn't have a good reason to, now I do. Now you do. Now I got a good reason. But, uh, Enough blaming me. Let's look at camera obscura. I have a feeling I'm gonna be blaming you for something else here in a minute. Ah, this game's not terrible. Okay. Okay, so this is like a $7 game on Steam. So it knows, uh, I feel like it kind of has earmarked itself as like, mm -hmm. hey, seven bucks. It's a puzzle game. Do you play as the Scottish indie twee pop band? Glasgow, no, no. I, I don't really know them. All I know is that the, the Gla Glasgowies that they're, yes, yeah, Scottish. Yes. Scottish. Uh, I actually really like that band, but. Yeah? That's neither here nor there. This has nothing to do with that. What What well, is? Well, how do you know? You don't know what's at the top of this tower. We're gonna head up. So we're gonna go jump in uh, a little bit here. I've, I've played a bit. Um, I'm gonna jump in like the middle here. Okay. Let's jump into the bowels. Might as well, we? yeah. You know? That's where I like to spend my time in That's general. really where I go first. Yeah. Uh, you wanna go to the, no, the bowels. Not the movies, not your favorite restaurant. Let's go to the crushed crosswalk. I'm always hanging out in subterranean fissures. <laughs> All right, so here's our, our young explorer here, right? Okay. And you're kind of picking up, uh, things got kind of quiet and intimate. Mm. Uh, you're kind of picking up notes and stuff as you go along to piece together the story. Something bad happened. Something bad involving a tower. Involving a tower. Bad okay. news and tower. See, I can't make this jump, Alex. Oh, you can't. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Why would they design a jump like that that you well, couldn't make? Because, and this could be coincidence, but mm. I don't think so. They've also designed a mechanic into the game that lets you take a picture and the after image will last on screen. And I know that doesn't make sense yet, but watch when I pull the trigger. Okay. Huh? Oh, you see? Oh, look at that. You see? And that, my friend, is the mechanic. So you have a camera. I've got a camera and it takes uh, these the shots. Okay. And all the levels are sort of designed in such a way so that you can take advantage of the geometry in camera form. That's, uh, that's the hope. All right. In this case, not so much. Not not, not in that one. Well, you know, I, I have to I have to play properly right. as well. So, you know, the, there's a problem that I found, which is uh, yeah, I'm just gonna that up. Oh no, uh, you don't take fall damage. Okay. Uh, that you kind of move a little bit faster than the after image mm -hmm. moves. Right. So you you, you kind of have to fiddle with the a bit of the jumping and air control. You can't just like like what you want to do. It's kind of just take that picture and just run, right? Right. But you run faster than the actual after image goes, and so mm. you just run off of it a lot of times. But that that's the basic mechanic of the game, and here's the exit right here. Uh, there's probably collectibles in here that I did not pick up, but... Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like you really picked up anything. Well, we can go, well, there's like go a picture, and There's like a picture. Polaroid just, yeah. just dangling up there. So that's the that's the the notes I was talking about, things that okay. piece together in the story. Let's just try and get up there. Um, if it takes a lot for me to actually jump back up there. That's a slime. Uh, what, what happens if you take a picture of the slime? Uh, well, you don't, he doesn't after image. He just yells at you for taking yeah. pictures of him without hey! asking. And I said, you know, there was a sign when you came into this game that you were going to be recorded. Uh, Sorry, I tried to set my phone camera to silent. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's start. So this over. is the original jump we started with here. Yep, yeah. we'll just kind of come back over here. Let's see if we can work this out. Yeah, yeah, no, you, you, kinda, you can see where this is going, right? Yep. And this is that part, like I said, that you can't... And, and like, I, I wish it had like a beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Before, before, you, Just a little bit more kinda, lead time. Well, you can jump on that other thing, right? Yeah, but you, you kind of never... Unless you've played a, quite a bit, mm. you're not quite sure when it's going to freeze in place. Right. Uh, and that that's a bit of a challenge when you're trying to, you know, make it far enough to do jumps like that. You know, you're not quite sure how long you have to run. Um, the accident, eh? 
she supposed she owed it to him to come after the accident. So what have you picked up about the story thus bad, far? Bad things happened. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, bet, I read a bit on the Steam description and maybe there was some kind of apocalypse that happened. But sh the notes I'm picking up are kind of more of a personal story. Like she, something bad happened with her and like people thought she was some kind of rock star and then she fell into disgrace. Or like something. maybe the, the greater apocalypse is, is affecting everyone, but she is, her mission has little to do with that and more to do with some sort of personal There's some kind of redemption loss. story going yeah. on here. Okay. Uh, so let's continue up the tower uh, and we'll get to kind of like where I left off. We'll start at the livestock pens. Does just uh, like the whole of society still live in this tower or something? I have not seen the whole of society. I've okay. only seen those slimes and these weird... Um, it seems know, like there's a lot of, lot of layers to this tower, if nothing else. It's a large tower. Yeah. I, here's a part I don't like about this game, okay? The, the rest of the things, the inoffensive, kind of... I, I think mm -hmm. the mechanic might be a little limited for what I've seen so far. This part, I don't know why. So, all right, here, I'll start with the thing like any good person should. A compliment, and then I'll go into the, right, here's the criticism. I, okay, here, yes. Here's what I like about this game. All right. I like when you touch these things. She just goes, wow, I'm dead. Wow, yeah. Okay. That's, uh, so you just touch the thing. So there's no real room for error there. And you're just, boof, just oh. no sound effect, no nothing. Yep. Just just roll off like you just got shot in the head with like some kind of giant gun. Boom, it's a good roll. roll, yeah. It's yeah. a real good like go limp kind of roll. Okay, so here's what I don't like about this game. All right. Why do you even have enemies in this game? Why should I, why do you die in this game? And we'll show you right now why I think that's super annoying. Because uh, you have this part where you have to kind of jump down uh, this area. Does taking pictures at all have anything to do with navigating this? Uh, no, it's just don't get hit. Okay. And I find that to be like, you know, that's not really what it's I never, I, I've never found that. I mean, it, it seems like they're giving you enough camera control here to where you can at least Definitely. see where they are. But it's just tedious. Yeah. It's just like, that's not fun. And then you get hit once and you're You're, you're starting done. right back at the top. Uh, yeah, I can see that being rather yeah, annoying. It, just, it was just a weird thing because you get onto this level and you're like, I'm just falling down dying. Constantly. Right. And that, like, that's kind of poo-poo, if I may steal a phrase from the great uh, Maya Angelou. Yes, that's from one of her most famous poems. Yeah. Oh, to be a poo. Poo. So these uh, these steel uh, bricks here do not mm. do not play along. Okay. So you see only the um, yeah, only the wooden wood, or wood colored the earthen the wicker basket looking stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I, I actually, so I, I, I left off on this level for a good reason, because I couldn't actually uh, figure out how to get to the exit. So... It looks like you probably have to go up and around. Yeah, but then I hit this part that I was like, you know, I don't want to... Let's leave off here. So right. I haven't got actually finished this level, uh, so you may see me futz around a little bit. Let's, uh, let's figure out how to beat this together, Alex. Yeah, so you, it seems like you probably want to get up to where those other platforms are. Which I don't know if I'm going to be able to, so I'm going to try and go right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. So the only way I think I can... I mean, I can pull that thing down. But you would go down well, with I, it. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, that guy up there at least. Alright. I can maybe... Oops. Alright, we can probably get over If you jump up with that... Yes, that's right, because those things won't go. Whoop. Yep, there it is. Oh, come oh, on. you're so close. Cam up. Okay. Uh, and you can you can make them go away if you hold down the, mm -hmm. uh, the button. Okay. There so, it is. That's why I said it would be kind of nice if they had a little tick, 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 tick. Yeah, just give you, give you a greater sense of how long you have. There is a light on her camera that comes on, but, uh, I, you know, it's, it's not what I'm looking at when I'm jumping around. Right. Uh, can I make this? I could just run over. That seems much, much easier. Do the same thing again. Let's go to that. Okay. Out of my way. Okay. Can't make that. And uh, that stuff is not going to after image. So let's try this move. Mm, that takes the ceiling with yeah. you, unfortunately. Hmm. 
But once that thing becomes translucent, like once it starts to fade away, are you able to jump yes. off of it and over and through stuff? Totally. So, so maybe that's the way to go. Yeah, I always feel like that's the cheese method, but I'm okay. I mean, in this case, yeah. I think let's just let's just go. I've definitely it. done this a couple of times to to get up there. Didn't work that time. Yeah! Oh boy. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, nope. Well, this at least wasn't too complicated, so let's do this. I wonder if I get up top there, here, if that's the smarter move. Oops, that's not what up. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna get it for you. There you go. Just do this again. Okay. That definitely seems like it's getting you there. Maybe the thing is to take a picture and then run backward a hey, little bit. Yeah, I like the way you're thinking. Now you're thinking with Obscura. Come on. There it is. And it's just, the thing is just crawling with anteaters for no yeah, reason. Yeah, for no reason. Why the anteaters? All right, so this is just no-win situation. Here. In this apocalypse, the anteaters run the show. So there are slimes and anteaters. Uh, all right, we're going to see another run backwards case. Yeah. That got you there. Yeah. And then in theory, you should just be able to drop right down sure. to the thing. I don't know where I am exactly. Yeah, you might want to bring those other things over just to kind of get a sense. All right, well, I'm somewhere. I'm going. We're going. We're explorers. Okay. Yeah, no, we're you're here. right there. We're here. You're right on it. Okay, where nature failed them in their quest ever upwards, the sunset turned to industry, storing, shoring up with metal where the mountain stone had fail, faltered, refined as pure as their faith, the sects. Metal it's a hard word to say. Sexths. Metal work maintained the same mirror shine as the day it was cast. Somehow you're making sects sound sexts. more like sexts than, than it would if you would just said it normally. Oh, you mean sex? Yeah, just say sex. Sex. Just say sex from now on. Sex. Hi. Oh, you silly slime. That's just a real mean thing to do. It is. I mean, he's just there minding his business being yeah. a slime. Just being a slime, just taking care of tower stuff. You're using your camera to murder him. That's it's right. Like... Whoop. Okay, so this you is. You jump on that and then jump on that. So there's something like, like I said, it's not offensive. I'm not like, this is a terrible game or anything like that. Yeah. There's something I just find uh, whoa, not especially engaging about it. Just from a, at a glance, just kind of watching how you move through this, the the platforming seems a little floaty. That's yeah. Okay. Well, I have I have a little problem with the platforming, but it's it's maybe what bothers me is it's so close to being kind of fun. Right. Like there's like they, conceptually, there's something to really to this. Yeah, and like if they had just. I have to imagine that they thought of this and they just left it out intentionally, but if they have kind of just put in that tick, tick, tick or something. Yeah. Um, it, def it definitely feels like it needs a little bit more of an indicator for like when you are... Yeah, I mean, it's got that... Timing this. Sound, you know, the... Oh. That sound, the whoop, the, the recharge of the flash, but yeah. it's just not enough for me. So Vinny demands more. I demand more sacrifice. Oh, all right, so take that. Yeah, I just, and I, I think I can see myself trying to go through the process of this and mm -hmm. trying to get through these levels and at a certain point just being like, yeah, it's cool, but I don't know if I have the time or the, the patience for this. Sure. Because like when you're, when you're making, you know, Oops. platformers, you know, you kind of have to have like a real, either a really good gimmick or just really tight attention to detail with like the, you know, the traversal don't, and all that kind of stuff. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this lends itself to just a little bit more in the way of accidental fucking up. Sure. I've definitely floated off the platforms, as you can then, see. Then maybe is made up for by how fun it actually is. Well, those little platforms are like, you know, you got to know your limitations in the game, right? Like right. This, this game does not have the precision of like a Meat Boy to like, you know, pinpoint yourself on. Right. It. And they're not asking you to do anything super strenuous here, but they are asking for a bit of, you know, timing focus. And wow. it seems like the, the actual jumping does not necessarily make so for, that. Yeah. So for me, it's not even the jumping. It's, it's still that same mechanic. It's just like, I'm not sure where that floaty thing is right. going to set. If I'm going to be too far. You're then, kind of guessing a little bit every time. Totally. And I get impatient, you know, it's like, I don't want to sit there and wait for the perfect one. Let's just go. All right. So I'm going to 
It's a little over. And again, like I, I kind of dig. It makes you use your brain a bit, so I kind of dig it. But like, yeah, there's just a little something missing. Uh, and the took, question becomes: Is it is it making you use your brain in a way that is actually fun? It, it, initially, it did because initially I was like, I'm messing this up constantly, and then uh, I was like, oh, okay, this is kind of asking me to do something new. Well, here's here's a something. Yeah, see, this is a little bit more of a challenge than some of the other stuff you've done. Okay, definitely get over to that. All right, so this is just going to mean uh, something up there, the stairs, probably, right? Oh, lady, lady. Like Be better at jumping higher, lady. I kind of like the soundtrack. Yeah, it's got a real, uh, real pure moods kind of vibe going on. <laughs> yeah, what mood is it putting you in? What pure... I don't know, whatever it mo mood it is whenever I see a massage therapist. Okay. I, I don't know. What, 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 what do you determine that mood to be? Uh, like it's some kind of Enya-esque? Enya or just sort of like... Non specifically, you know, pan, pan flute, flute, yeah, pan flute and wind chimes kind so of music. So you're saying either your therapist or uh, Penn Station? Yes. Okay. Yeah, like when you hit the thing on the 34th Street Station, all the weird Is that like. Still there? Yeah, it's still there. Do you ever see the thing now to totally change moods? Yeah. But did you ever walk from uh, Grand Central to uh, actually it's, it's on the walk to from Port Authority to Grand Central? Basically, you walk underground to the E train. If you ever had to go from like transfer uh, around Times Square to the um, from the A, mm -hmm. and you see the like, so tired, uh, the little poem that's on the way. Yes. Woke up late, so tired, why bother? Yes. Go back to bed, do it again, like poem. I feel like maybe they have they have missed the message of commuting in like, putting that poem up. Apparently in, in it's major... been up since the 90s. I looked yeah. it up uh, recently to be like, because it was there when I came back. I was like, why is it still up there? It's the most depressing thing as everybody marches forward. It literally says like, why bother? Yeah. And it's, a, it's gonna be late. My, basically, the gist of it is like, I woke up late. I'm so tired. Why do I bother with life? I just have to do this again tomorrow. And then it's this poem you read as you're just trudging along to the subway. Uh, I don't know. Finally, a subway message I can kind of get behind. It's like, <laughs> it's a super dark thing. Uh, yeah, but I understand it. Everybody understands it. That's why it's so dark. That everybody who's like, well, yeah. especially if you take the A train anywhere. Yeah, or you have to make that underground walk. It's yeah. like bad enough. Maybe a soft pretzel will make this better. Democracy isn't difficult when everyone believes the same thing. Meeting houses such as this were originally built so the clergy could address the concerns of the lady. Lady! Lady! Everyone genuinely striving together to make the tower into their perfect vision an eternal monument to the light. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Yeah, nothing about that could have possibly gone wrong. No. Alright, how do we get this platform down here? I think mm. you gotta make some other stuff first. Mm. How are we doing this? I think maybe you need to climb up and then get closer to it. No, not that one. No, like go go back up to the oh, left. Oh, like all the way back up here? Yeah. And then you kinda go up and over. Oh, see? Yeah, that's on me. And then maybe I can take it down here with this. With this maneuver. We got it! Oh, no. where is it? Oh, because it wasn't on screen? Yeah. My idea was better. Your idea it was, sound. was unsound, but it had it had it had some some moxie behind it. I'll give I wonder, it that. Can I do it if I move the camera this way? No. Okay. So okay, learning here. So I think you need to move that thing over. Ye you know what? Not I that far over. I could just do this. Uh, do this. What? How come that bottom one doesn't want to go? I don't know. It just doesn't. That's weird. Because video games. Hey. Hey, now don't get cheap now. Sorry, Vinny. Your cool solution. What? Well, come not on cool now. Enough. Don't. Don't be a jerk now. It's, it's, I this think it, should work. I think it's way too late for that. All right. Well, I like my get over there. This is uh, definitely the first time I've run into any, like, I don't, I don't know. How to I do. think. Hmm. Yeah, run it back. Yeah, run it back over. Let's run this whole thing. I can make that jump on there, like no. fall 
Oh. No, not a chance. Oops. Nope. Nah, it's, I'm just zoning just too long now. on that one. I actually just fell asleep for a minute. It's oh. hard being a dad, you know, staying awake. Oh gosh, last night. <sighs> what happened? Hey, he was, he, Max is sick, so he doesn't oh. sleep well, so he wakes up every half hour. That's, uh, you know, he's a little sick and he's alone and he calls out and you gotta go comfort your kid. Hello! Alright, what how do I make this work? You can't do too much of that, though. Comforting your kid? Then he just thinks he's gonna, you're gonna come running every single time and he's never gonna learn to solve any problems on his own. That's a school of thought. There's that school of thought. The other one is like... I, I'm, I'm saying maybe at the age he's at, that's not the time to yes. teach him about that level of self-reliance. Well, that's but, another school of thought. I'm not here to pick science. Yeah. Some people say, hey, this kid's two years old, like, you know, they should be soothed. Other people are like, let him self-soothe. Okay. Come on. Man. Just let him fend for himself, you know, put him in the backyard. <laughs> With a shovel and yeah. a straw and say, uh, go figure this out. If you can survive for 96 hours out here. You're a man. You can, you can exist in our society. I you, had, you will thrive in this meritocracy. Don't be like your older brother. And if you find him, don't eat him. He's been back there a while. I don't know how to do this, Alex. I'm, I've kind of hit my wall here. Oh! Mmm. What about from the other side? I feel like the other side was closer you to do? the thing. Or I, I might I might just be totally imagining that. Let's check where's the other side. This other side. Mm. Mm. Like what about the floor? Like is there any way no nah, front floor, floor was wouldn't raise nearly up high enough. Maybe I can bring that up high enough. Let's try this. Ha! No. Still too. It's weird. It's weird that. Okay. So let's, let's oh, wonder if that. Now it's thing. taking a picture of that thing. Yeah, you just have to be in this area, I guess, in order to do that. Do I have to make it all the way around? No, I can't do that because I need the picture to get up there. All right, let's try. Try going back up to the left. Like, just climb up this area. Okay. And then climb up to that thing. You got it. Can do. I just wonder if maybe you can push that out far enough to where. Push this thing out? Yeah. What's that thing above you? Like, what's that little... Uh, it's like background noise. Okay, so that's not a thing you can actually jump on. No. Yeah. I can see back up there. Fuck you, pan flute. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling this one. Maybe there's only one shot to do it, and it's this. That is a plan, I think. That's really shitty. That would be really that shitty. That doesn't seem like the right solution. That doesn't seem like the right solution. But I'm going to try it again. Oh, gosh. Ready? Yep. Have you tried just, like, kind of coasting down underneath that thing when you jump? Like, like? Like under this this level that you're standing on right now? To try and make it onto the other one? Yeah. Yeah, did I try running off the ledge? You did, know. that was, I'm just saying like maybe from from one of those other platforms, maybe you're more likely to hit that. Hmm. I really wish that thing would just come out underneath me. Uh, I could try it. Try it. Yeah, I'll try it. So you're saying fall off and then push to the left? Yeah. I'll try and take a picture of something. No, and that doesn't really... Yeah, no way I'm gonna run that no. thing close enough. No, it doesn't look like it. I'm gonna see if anything's gonna tickle my mind here. Yeah, I don't know. This, I mean, this seems like if nothing else, the kind of game where just like taking a lot of pictures and just seeing what comes with you where might trigger something. Yeah. Yeah. Like you never entirely know. Well, I'm sure the audience has seen it. Sure. Hello. Okay. So. Is 
so that you can get up on top of, but uh, maybe you can. No, you can't. Yeah, I can't get up on that. It's gotta be something down here. I can't imagine they'd make you fall. I'm sure someone is just screaming yeah. the solution at the, can at the screen oh right now. Oh my god. They're gonna kill me. They're literally going to kill me. That just, that seems like an extreme response. <laughs> Man. Oh, I know. Alright. How do I take this thing down with me? Come on down. Come on down. Like that. Problem is you have to get back up there. Get out of my way. Yeah, I don't know how you get back up there. Seems like kind of a jump, unless we are completely missing something, kind of a jump in the difficulty. We were kind of walking through every other level. Yeah, like the other stuff, it seemed like, you know, it's maybe a little tricky with the, the timing, but in general, you're kind of just... Right, you're right. hitting a very visible solution, whereas with this, it's sort of like, here you go, now just, I don't know, guess. Oh, you know what? That is not, I don't think I realized maybe I can... Pull that over from to this side? Well take a picture while I'm up on another thing. Oh, can you do that? It seems like maybe I can. Yeah, that's still a little too far, but like, oh, you almost had it there. You had something there. Yeah, but I no way I'm gonna make up that no. thing. My guess is yeah. that you have to try and find a way to make a platform here that goes down. Right, like basically flip this image. Like what happens if you jump down while that thing is still forming? Uh, it'll come down with me. Try that. Make sure there's no oops, flip image thing. All right, peek right, peek up, yeah. Nope. Okay. Try jumping down with that thing. And then, like, just going all the way to the right? Yeah, just jump as far to the right as you can. Mmm, no. I didn't actually jump. Oh, that might be, that might be part of it. Try it. Get up. That was bad. Yeah, that wasn't the right mix. Yep. Uh, That's more like it. Okay, and then you want me to jump all the way to the right? Yep. I didn't jump again. Now. Let's try it on this side. Okay. Weird, weird, uh... Weird puzzle. Weird wall to hit. Uh, so yeah, if you figured out this puzzle for us, by Kinda all curious. means, scream it into the comments as loud as you can. Yeah, and, uh, it'll, it'll work. Well, I'm not really... I mean, that almost looks like it. I thought maybe I could reach that and be there. Get up there. Get up there. Nah, you still, you just don't have enough distance to even jump Enough on juice. that thing. Mm. Something, right? It feels... Well, it feels like you're closer to something. I just don't know what that something is yet. Closer to calling it. Alex Navarro. Vinny Caravella. Camera Obscura. It's on uh, Steam now. It says it's like a $7 game, right? It's like right? a $7 game. You can get the soundtrack, you know, the OST, if that's your thing, for like 4 bucks. Yeah, I like I like the, the, the look and the sound of it, and it seems like, you know, at the very least, there's there's definitely something to the game. Definitely something to the game. Uh, and if you hit this with puzzles, you know, send me one of them animated GIFs and, uh, you know, put it in the comments if you have this game. If not, draw me a map. Maybe you want to render this in the Team Fortress, like you know, cartoon maker thing, and like just do it that way. Whatever you gotta do it, man. You got our address, it's on the corporate site, send me a napkin. Thanks, Alex. Thank you, Vinny.